Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today I would like to talk about how to create a 3D model for this wisdom tooth and turning into a pendant in the Rhino 3D software with the Subdi tool. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today we're going to talk about this wisdom teeth with the subdi to creating a continual piece and flow it really nicely for this demonstration as starting from the scratch. This tutorial is good for using with the subdi tool if you have a Rhino 7. If you don't have a Rhino 7, you can check with the older version for T-spline and that should work the same way. So we're going to creating a, under the subdi, uh, we're going to creating a subdi box. You can having a subdi tab under here or you can come into the top uh, right here. You have a subdi menu to find a box here. So I basically like to use the icon and we are going to to use the creating sub D box. All right, on the top here, you have X, Y, and Z count. So I want to set X, Y, and Z to four. To change it, you can just come in here and click on what you wanted to change, and then you type out the number that you want, right? I also want to starting from the center. So I'm going to snapping into the zero, and to do whatever size that's appropriate. Since we're not gonna print it out, so I'm just going to do whatever size. Now we have this faces right here in the sub D that you can choose uh, on the whole things. You can choose only on the face. You can choose uh, select it only on the age or you can select it only on the vertex. All right, so those are the selection that you can do. Let's do the top part. We want to cave in there. So I'm going to pick up this curve and hold my shift and double click on this one uh, to the neighbor and then you can holding the shift to do 1D scale. Now when you do 1D scale, it's kind of a caving too gentle right there. All right, so this is not what we're looking for. We want something that's sharper caving. So in this case, we need to have an extra curve next to each other. So this one here is called expanded age. So we're going to pick up the age right here, double click on the neighbor. So you will select everything with the shift on. And we want to come in here for expanded edges. And then it will creating the extra two age on it. Right. So you can choose a double or you can choose a single. This is the single look like and we want to choose the double. Right. So we want to have a two extra age next to the one that we pick and then we hit enter. Once we have it, we're going to come back again and pick up the whole things. Now, if you try to 3D scale it down, you will say it's controlled only within this area. If you want the area look tighter, for example, you're going to come into this view and this view and make them closer. So then the crease will get tighter there. All right, so that's the first step. The second step we're going to do exactly the same. We want to expand the edges right there. And then we can pick this edges and this edges, have them to go closer. And then we can pick up the one in the middle and we want to come into the right view, 3D scale it down a little bit. So in the render view, you're going to see we separate them into the full section, right? Once you separate them into the full section, that is the top of the teeth and we're going to work on the bottom. So on the bottom, I'm going to pick up some faces. So I'm going to pick up one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and all four of them on each of this section, I'm going to pick them up. Now coming into the right view, I'm going to extrude them with the gumball, just extrude it once extrude it twice and then I can 3D scale it down and then so that will give us the root for the teeth right and now this is the time we can fine tune it we're gonna come in into the perspective and then we are going to start fine tune it if you feel like the top is too organized and you can start picking on either the faces one two three four and I can make them a little bit bumpier right here, or you can pick up the vertex. You just make them in the middle. It will be rounder, or you can pick up the edges and then you can come in over here and to play with it, to make them all differently. 
So that way you don't feel like your tooth is in the same, uh, too uniform, which they shouldn't be, right? So I can come in here, pick up the edge, have them pop up a little bit, puff up a little bit here. And again, on this view, I want them to puff up here and puff up here, right? So then you can start seeing that we are start tweaking them differently. And I also want to pick up here and have them to go in a little bit, pick up here, going a little bit like this. And you always want to edit on the different view. So make sure that there's no area is like too tight there. So then it's getting cuter and cuter and you just need to continue to edit it until you find, you know, the shape that you like. Once you like it, just put the jump ring and put the chain on it and that will be a good piece for the rendering on your portfolio. I hope you enjoy this video. If you like to learn more about the sub D, I have a course online for specific sub D and teach you every single step to getting into the jewelry design that you want. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.